Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. Our NAB 2013 uh, coverage continues here. We're at the Promax booth with Jess Hartman. Uh, you know we love Promax. We've done a lot of video segments on their stuff. And once again, in a world where we're not really sure what's going to happen with Mac Pros, uh, and the, the future of Final Cut. We always like to give you guys other alternatives that are just as powerful or more powerful, certainly with the Pro Max stuff. And uh, Pro Max has come out with another really cool workstation that we wanted to uh, have Jess tell you a little bit about. Great, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, so this year we've introduced the Pro Max One Plus. As you know, last year we talked about the Pro Max One. We still have that unit. But we made one a little bit more capable than we did last year. And the Pro Max One Plus is designed to be, actually when you look at the specs of it, it can go up to about twice as fast as the fastest Mac Pro. So that's where the CPU technology is going. It is a 16 core box. It can run up to 256 gigabytes of RAM. It has a eight bay RAID storage system built into it. And that eight bay RAID storage system uh, can run up to 24 terabytes of fast RAID storage directly in the workstation. So we see a lot of folks that are using a DaVinci Resolve type um, environment. Um, they are doing uh, uncompressed editing on it, red workflows, these types of things. And it's really powerful because we have designed it up so that it has eight PCIe slots in it. And that really gives you that expandability to do almost anything you need to do in any environment. It's really the, we tout it as the most powerful workstation in the world for a reason because it really is. Um, well, what now, are these shipping right now? These are shipping immediately. Some of the other benefits that are included in the Pro Max One Plus is that we have uh, quad boot drives in it, and that allows us to either cre create SSDs that are mirrored uh, for backup reasons, or you can boot into various environments that you may want to set up. In addition to that, uh, the unit comes and has the ability to have an LTO for archiving. So you're working directly off of your uh, SAS or age storage. You're getting you know, 1.4 gigabits per second on your SAS storage. And then when you're done with that project, you can just archive it right off to LTL. So the Pro Max One Plus, you'll find, um, I think, as we all see what happens uh, with the Mac, by the end of 2013, says Tim Cook, we will, um, uh, I think we'll be selling a lot of them. So this is definitely something you need to check out if you need the power of the Mac Pro. And uh, this one right here, this one is running Premiere, right? This one's running Premiere, it runs Avid, runs, um, obviously it doesn't run OS X, but beyond that, most of the software that's available today is, uh, is dual operating system. Very, very cool. And what's the uh, relative price point on this? So the price point is at a high Mac Pro price range, okay? High and then up from there. Cool. And the website is? Promax.com, www.promax.com. It's definitely a good alternative. <laughs>